coupled up with Ikanu. Sorry, what did you just call him? <laughs> Ika. It it was, was, I need no, it's really disrespectful. What is his name? Hey guys, it's your girl Brandy, aka Brandy4. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I do lots of commentary videos on Love Island, pop culture, even Degrassi, and I do a lot of travel vlogs. So if you like all those things, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more content. And also, please make sure you like this video. Support your girl Brandy4. So let's get into this episode real quick. I wanted to talk about Love Island season eight, episode two. Not that much happened this episode, but also a lot happened this episode. For a second episode, it actually wasn't that bad. Mind you, I missed like the first 20 minutes because I was working. So it was like the fact that I was able to still get like a little something out of this episode means that this season is very promising. This season is actually looking pretty good. And although I'm still not getting what I would like to get out of the boys this season, I still have hope because the girls are bringing it this season. For starters, let's talk about India not knowing Akena's name. Yeah, not surprised. Um, not surprised because what did I tell you? Yesterday I was literally like, I don't think she really likes him. And I don't think she really likes him. She keeps saying that she's going to try to get to know him and that he's not honestly really trying to get to know her. And that's kind of what we've been hearing from the girls for the most part. Like these guys are not the best at grafting this season. Like for some reason, I guess these men are just used to girls going up to them, but the girls are also used to men going up to them first. It's it's really weird. We're kind of seeing that India is not really into Kenna, even though she's still trying to get to know him. But it seems like she's more into Demi. And I saw that coming. I saw that coming. I told you to. I knew it. I think there is a bit of sexual attraction between the two. However, Dami, do you think he's going to go up to India? I don't think so. He is a player. You can just tell by the first episode the man is a player. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I feel like India, she's like waiting for him to actually come up to her. But I don't think it's going to happen unless the producers literally force him to go up to India. But otherwise, he just is not really doing what he needs to do. He's not grafting. And it's really, really stressing me out. And it's literally because he's a player. I know his type. I literally know his type. I can just tell. He's just waiting for these girls to come to him. And I feel like it's low-key gonna work, which sucks. And I really, really hope India stays strong. I hope Amber stays strong as well. So yeah, let's talk about Amber and Dami real quick. I don't really see any type of spark between them, if I'm being honest. I feel like they're both trying, or at least Amber is trying to make it work. I don't really see them working out otherwise, because once again, just like what Amber said, she's kind of like, this man is not really doing much. He's not really saying much, not really reassuring me in the slightest, basically. And that's what I'm getting out of that. So yeah, that's not about to last. And I think by next week, we're gonna see India and Dami like hit it off. Yeah, so then Paige and Luca. Um, yeah, Luca is kind of just, I don't know. He's kind of just pissing me off this episode and last episode as well. For starters, Paige literally told him her favorite sex position, told him. And then when they got to the challenge, he totally forgot. Red flag. That is the first red flag. The fact that the man don't even listen. She just told you her favorite sex position. Why are you getting it wrong in the challenge? That's embarrassing. I'm sorry. That's embarrassing. Otherwise, I also did not like the fact that this episode, when he had found out during the challenge that Paige did kiss girls, which means that, or insinuates that Paige could potentially be bi. He's like, oh, I wish I got a picture of that. 
what is this 2005 like come on like nobody says things like that anymore like grow up please i think he was actually also the one who was like what you can't kiss girls in the challenge in yesterday's episode i swear he was the same one who said that what is wrong with him during pride month are you joking mate yeah didn't really like that something else that i noticed i did not like i feel like davy day he is not talking to india or amber and i noticed that i don't know if y'all peeped that i understand that he clearly has a type white girls like obviously like i'm not surprised however you're really just not gonna talk to the black girls because you like the white girls like he literally paying them no mind at all like they don't even exist like you guys live in the same villa and that's what these people are forgetting like just because you don't like them does not mean you can't still get to know them y'all are literally living in the same villa for the next six weeks seven weeks like i don't like the fact that he is totally not even speaking to them not even saying hi to them i didn't like that at all I hope that changes. Maybe he's just not used to being around black women. I don't know, but don't like it. And meanwhile, Tasha seems to be gay with every guy child. Tasha, she, I feel like she is dipping her toe in every pool and I feel like she is playing the game how it's supposed to be played. She's getting to know everyone and that's what I'm seeing. More than all the other girls, to be quite honest, and even the guys. Like, I feel like Tasha is the one actually putting herself out there and talking to every guy seeing like who she likes the most and it kind of seems I don't know I'm kind of confused with like who she likes the most because it seems like she is hitting it off with Andrew now but also it seems like she's into Luke Luca whatever his name is yeah I don't know I don't know about her but I I'm very intrigued by her and I do wonder like who she's gonna end up with she also seems like she's in Davide as well, so yeah, don't know. And then of course you got my girl Gemma. <laughs> I only say she's my girl because you already know she's bringing the drama. She's bringing the drama this season. Like, yes, she's extremely mean and pretty much a bully towards poor Liam, but she's bringing the drama. And I can't hate her for it, honestly. But literally, it's like, I don't know what she has against Liam. But it's like, if Liam breathes around her, she just looks like she's disgusted. <laughs> like, I don't know what this man did. Maybe she knows him from somewhere. I don't, I don't know. But like, I feel bad for, <laughs> I feel really bad for Liam, bro. And she is clearly into Davy Day and of course Davy Day is into her and what did I tell y'all yesterday Davy Day ends up choosing Gemma to recouple up with and so poor Liam he's just single and just like dang that sucks <laughs> personally I don't see Davy Day and Gemma going very far because Davy Day is boring I'm not getting anything out that man besides he's italian like wow you're italian what else like what else i'm not getting any personality from him at all i'm not getting any adorableness like i feel like when it comes to like the castmates that are from like another country or whatnot they usually have something like adorable to them like i don't get any cuteness from davide or davide am i saying Wow, I'm saying his name wrong this entire time. Davide. I'm sorry, guys. Davide. I'm not getting anything from him. I'm bored. And quite frankly, I'm bored with all the guys. Like, I'm not getting anything from these guys. Like, I don't... Maybe in tomorrow's episode, because tomorrow's episode, we are getting two new women bombshells. Ephia and Ekinsu. Am I saying their names right? Yeah, so hopefully these bombshells will get these guys to actually, like, give us some more entertainment. Because right now they're giving me nothing. Nothing at all. No type of personality. At least last year, the guys, they gave some type of personality. I feel like these guys are just good looking and nothing more. Like, I want more personality out of them. And also, um... Yeah, I'm noticing this Effia girl. She looks like she's black or mixed. Um, 
but yeah okay love island they're really bringing in more like more of a diverse set of people finally but also i do see that they're playing it safe by bringing in the light skins so we will not speak too soon let me know your thoughts in the comments below on this episode and yeah i thought it was a pretty good episode for an episode two of love island yeah i thought it had potential so yeah Please make sure you like my video and subscribe to my channel for more Love Island content, period. I will be reviewing Love Island Season 8 of the UK, so please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Bye!